Hello and welcome to this video. Before I begin this video I will say thank you to my first 100 subscribers. Yay! So let's start. Here I have a new SEPA template. As you can see in the layout file we import this navigation from dot dot slash components slash nav dot svelte. This is no problem, but now let's imagine we have a deep pass like deep slash deep and there we have a file let's call it just file.svelte and now we want to include a component in this file so for the moment i just add hello as a text in this file and now i create a new component in this source component folder let's call it just comp.svelte and then in this component I just write also a text hello from component. Okay, now imagine we need or we want to add this component into this deep deep file.svelte file. So we create a script tag and then we type import. And now we need to count how many points we need to add to get this component. So I think there are uh, four dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot whatever. Okay, so just uh, try it uh, like this, and then when I save this file, I will see if it work or not. So I just add the component here. Then I want I start my server and I see that there is an error. So it was not dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. So I try just to remove one dot dot and I see if it then works. So I remove this, I save it again and I restart my server. I cross my fingers and there is no error, this looks very nice and then in Google Chrome I see hello from component, so yay, this works. But it's ugly and to make this a little bit better there is a plugin for rollup and this is called rollup minus plugin minus alias. So first step is to copy this line and then I go into my project and I install this dependency with npm install minus minus save dev rollup minus plugin minus alias or alias whatever. Okay, when this is installed I go into the rollup.conf.js file. And then in this file I just import this alias from rollup minus plugin minus alias. So back on the GitHub page we see how this plugin works. So instead of using import something from dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash something, we can just say import something from something. And then the plugin will replace this something with the real pass of this uh, file. Okay, so I copy this example here, so the alias function, and then in my rollup config I create a new const where I say aliases equals to this alias function. And then here in the resolve we need to add dot svelte files because we will create aliases for svelte files too. And then I will modify one of these example entries. So I take this first find a something entry and I remove this and I tell this plugin to find comp. So this is my component and then it should replace this comp when I import it with the current directory of this rollup.config file. So this is the root path of our project. And then from there I go to the source and then I go into the components and there I import the comp.svelte file. Then I just remove the other entry examples and copy this alias const. And then in my client config under plugins I paste these alias lines and also under server I go to the plugin section and there I paste this alias configuration. Then I save this file and I go back to my file.svelte file and there now I can remove all these dot dot dots 
and tell just this script to import comp from comp and then the rollup plugin will do the magic behind the scenes and replace this comp. So I start the server and when I look in Chrome and I reload the page it seems to work. And because this is so beautiful I will create a second component. So I go into my components and there I create a very creative comp2.svelte file. And then I just write hi from comp2 and then I add this comp2 also into the entries file from the alias and then I just add a number 2 and then in my file.svelte I also just add this comp2 so I import comp2 from comp2 and then I add this comp2 tag and then when I save this I see this beautiful error here in my console and this is because rollup will not automatically detect when there are file changes so we need to restart the server keep this in mind because else we will get errors now when I restart my server I reload and I see my two components so this is very very beautiful and it works but now when we need to do this for each component this is too much work and because nobody wants to work too much we create a magical script to find all our components and then we don't need to add all these entries by hand Okay, so to do this we need our file system. So we import fs, this is the file system from fs. Then we create a new const where we define our component folder. So I call this components folder and then I just copy this directory from below and I paste it there. Then I will also create another constant and this will be an array of all my component names without the .svelte file. To do this I take the file system and there I call the function read dir sync to read the directory and this function will give me all the file names in my components folder. And then with these file names I will map these file names so now I have each file name and from this file name I will just take a substring from 0 to file name dot length minus 7 so 7 characters will be removed and this is this dot svelte file every time ok and to see if this works I just console dot log and then I write my components and then I take a look at this R components variable. Now when I save this and I run my server I see my components are comp, comp2 and nav. So all the files in this components folder. Then we create another array to replace these entries from the plugin that we created by hand. Now we will create this by code. To do this I create this array entries and it will be empty by default and then I go over each component in this array component and then when there is a component we take this component and then we return an object and then in this object we say find and then we say that we search for the component so this is just the string with the component name and then we will replace this component with the components folder so that I created before and then because at the components folder there is already a slash at the end of this folder name I can just take the component and this is now just the name of the component 
and then I need to add dot svelte because before I removed these seven characters. Okay, and then I lock this to see if this works. It's a little bit hard to explain this, but when you see now the console.log, it should be clear what this does. So I start my server again, and then you see this beautiful array with objects. So this was created automatic, we search for comp, and then we replace it with the full pass of this component. So just as we did before by hand. And now I will just remove this and replace it with our array, our entries. And now when I save this and I restart my server, you see that it works as it should. But for other developers, they have no idea that you import your components like this. So maybe we can improve this, but that's your personal choice. But I show you another way or uh, alternative how you can import your components that also other people know that you import components. So to do this I add just an add components in my configuration and now when you import the component you need to write add components so every other person knows that this or could at least think that you import a component so when we do it like this then it's clearer for other people what you are doing so when I restart my server you see that now we are looking for at components slash comp and then we replace it with the components URL and as you see here this works too and you could do something similar like this also for other routes that you use very often for example your routes folder so you could just add to this array entries a new object so that you search for example for add routes and then you replace this add routes with the root directory slash source slash routes and now let's go to our file.svelte and there I create a new error page component and now I import this from at routes slash underscore error dot svelte and then I add this component at the end of my page. Let's take a look at the arguments that we need. So we have a status, this will be not no real error and then I have also an error object where I can set a message. Let's just set this to haha because it's no real error. And then when I save this and I restart my server, I see that this works. Haha. -ha. Okay. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.